All right, so yesterday, which was January 5th, it was great to get to uh, Rickson's Horum and find out how much he totally knew about the self-employment tax, but he was a, did not offer in any way to change that structure. It was just a good segue for him to say the system was broken. Uh, and he does not believe that he thinks that, yeah, just call self-employed small business because they are small. There's a large difference between someone that's got one, two, or no employees and a small business as defined by the federal government as having less than 500 employees. And he is not fooling me. So today, in the middle of the day, we're going to go to Rick and, and, and talk to him about uh, self-employed again insofar as uh, he made a huge comment yesterday about let's just kill this activist liberal court. So if you're against activist courts, could we respect the Constitution by starting with the fact that the word corporation is not in the corp Constitution and corporate personhood is not, was even wasn't even in the realm of possibility when the Constitution was written because of when the Constitution was written there was less than 20 corporations in the whole country. Uh, the other issue which goes back, let's go a little deeper, there was, was, was the Griswold versus Connecticut case which I was asked about, which created a new constitutional right, which in my opinion is judicial activism, just like Roe versus Wade was judicial activism, just like the Kelo decision was judicial activism, which is a group of people creating rights in the Constitution that don't exist. We have a way to create new rights, and that way is through the constitutional amendment process. I don't know how any reasonable person can say that the founders intended a right to an abortion in the Constitution when they wrote it. I mean, it would be beyond fantasy to think that that's what the, the writing of that constitutional document meant. So, if the Supreme Court wants to change things, then what they should say is, you know, we write papers about it and say, we think this is a bad idea, but it's up to the people to make these decisions. And so with respect to, to contraception, I thought the Griswold decision was wrong. I don't care what it was about contraception or anything else. It was just creating a right that didn't exist. And so does the state of Connecticut, in that case, back in 1953, I think it was, have the right to pass this bill? Well, the answer is yes, they have the, the right. They shouldn't do it. I wouldn't vote for it. I think, I, I, I can't imagine, I think at the time of Griswold, I think contraception was universally available. Uh, laws weren't enforced. And that's one of the reasons you don't want to pass laws that aren't enforceable laws, even whether you may think that they're moral or not. And so, you know, understand that just because you say something you believe is morally wrong doesn't mean it should be illegal or there should be any kind of laws about it. And I don't believe there should be any laws about it. What about a conservative activist court? I mean, hold on. But what about I mean, a conservative? Because yeah. corporate personhood is a conservative. Corporation is not in the Constitution. I'm sorry. I am interrupting. But yeah, yeah. a conservative yeah. activist court is also part of what you're saying, isn't it? Isn't the word corporate, is the word corporation no, I, well, in the Constitution? I, I, well, I believe that justices should be originalists. They should go with what the original intent is what is written there, and if there, want to, if there are going to be changes, then you make changes through the, through the, uh, through the process that is established in the Constitution. Yes, ma'am, in the back. I, I don't like to be rude, so I only interjected my opinion when he was talking about activist liberal courts after he had finished his amazing answer saying that the Griswold case, which found a constitutional right in the Ninth Amendment of the Constitution to have birth control was a terrible liberal decision. Holy cow! Corporate personhood is a Supreme Court activist creation and Citizens United is outrageous corp Supreme Court activism and uh, you know if you are against an activist court it cuts both ways right and left. And uh, it certainly relates to the self-employed because guess what? Personal responsibility begins with personal liability and the self-employed have personal liability as corporations do not.